All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah. All right, Yasharala, we're going to get straight into this story. Lamentations 4 and 18. They hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled. For our end is come. Okay, I don't know if any of you guys heard about this story. One police officer murdered three men of color over a five-year period. And allegedly, he's still out on the street. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get into the story now. Okay, Jay-Z's team rock call for prosecution of police officer who shot and killed three men. Officer Joseph Menza was found to have acted in self-defense in two of the shootings with another currently under review. Jay-Z Social Justice Initiative Team Rock has called for Wisconsin police officer to be fired and prosecuted after he shot and killed three people while on duty. Yeah, it appears that he shot all Jakes. Joseph Menza of Milwaukee suburb Wauwatosa killed Alvin Cole, Antonio Gonzalez, and Jay Anderson in three separate incidents between 2015 and 2020. So he was killing a person every other year. Yeah, hunting Jake footsteps. He is under review for the most recent killing of Cole, but the early two were deemed self-defense and he did not face charges. How many more people have to die at the hands of Officer Joseph Menza asked Team Rock in a full-page open letter to District Attorney John Chrism in the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, also published on Twitter. 19 shots and three deaths in five years are not a pattern of accidents. They also call for officers to be equipped with body cameras. And this is uh, Jay-Z's Team Rock uh, on Twitter. Okay, how many more people must die at the hands of Officer Joseph Menza, the devil? Menza has recklessly shot and killed three men of color, inexplicably failed to enable his dash camera, and failed to render medical aid during these tragic instances. Prosecute him. Well, the Most High is definitely going to get him. This is Proverbs 17 and 15. He who justifies the wicked and he who condemns the righteous are both un, like an abomination to the Lord. All praises. Police claimed that Gonzalez, who had a history of mental health problems, was wielding a sword when officers arrived at his apartment. Menza and another officer fired on Gonzalez, and Menza was later awarded a Medal of Valor by his police department. Did you hear that? A Medal of Valor. Okay. All right, I'm going to get a scripture for that. It's Deuteronomy 27, 25. Cursed is anyone who accepts a bribe to kill an innocent person. Then all the people shall say amen. Yeah, because he got a, he got a Medal of Honor or whatever it is in the, in, you know, in the law enforcement department, whatever they choose to call it. You know, but... Hey, that's pretty much what he did. Let me read that again. Deuteronomy 27, 25. Cursed is anyone who accepts a bribe to kill an innocent person. Now all the people shall say amen. Now, yeah, they might not be innocent, but we are the righteous seed, you know. So he probably, he probably could have did something else instead of just blowing Jake away. But, you know, Esau tears perpetually with his sword, you know, and they hate us trying to get back their birthright. All right, let's keep going. Menza claimed Anderson reached for a gun when he approached Anderson's car where he was sleeping, though Anderson's family dispute this. In the cold case, Shalaki, police claimed that Cole shot first during a police chase following the disturbance at a shopping center. Cole family also disputes this version of events. The Menza case is the latest that Jay-Z and Team Rock have recently intervened in. In January and February, they filed two lawsuits against Mississippi prisons for their barbaric conditions. And to me, that's Isaiah 42 and 22, where Isaiah says, um, and I'm paraphrasing, that these are men robbed and spoiled and none considerate. They're locked away in prison houses. Yeah, because Jake, you know, they be putting up football numbers on us and just locking us away. And them prisons are now our homes, you know. And then making money off of us. 
In June, Jay-Z signed a letter calling for justice for Ahmaud Arbery, the Georgia man who was shot and killed in February while jogging, and chartered a private jet for his legal team to attend a court hearing. Earlier this week, Jay-Z's annual Made in America Music Festival, due to take place in early September, was canceled. Collectively, we are fighting parallel pandemics. COVID-19, systematic racism, and police brutality, his company Rock Nation said in a statement. Now is the time to protect the health of our artists, fans, partners, and community, as well as focus on our support for organizations and individuals fighting for social justice and equality in our country. Alright, I'm going to get another scripture, and hopefully you was edified, okay? This right here is Psalms 94 and 21. The wicked band together against the righteousness and condemn the innocent to death. Yeah, because that's what they're doing. They keep putting us to death, you know? And the Most High is seeing what they're doing. You know, it's not like they're going to get away with that. You know, the Most High, he's keeping a record of all the stuff that these people are doing. You know, I mean, even though two-thirds of us are not going to make it anyway, hopefully I'm part of the elect, you know. Um, I, you know, I just, at the end of the day, I wish that all Yasharala could make it. But, hey, the Most High says certain people, they, they just not going to make it because they, they was too wicked, you know. So, um, hopefully you was edified. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. On to the next one, Shalom.